Hi, this is Asain. Today, I would like to share how to solve second order non homogeneous differential equation with fx as a trigonometric function. Okay, let's move to example. Okay, as usual, what we have to do first is obtain the complementary function for the associated homogeneous equation. So, second order m squared plus 5 times of m plus 6 equal to 0. So we factorize m plus 2 times m plus 3 equal to 0. This indicates that m equal to negative 2 or negative 3. So two and two dif different roots. So our complementary function is a e negative 2x plus b e negative 3x. Okay, now what we have to do is determine our particular integral. So as we can see here, this is cos without sign. So we cannot simply put only a cos function as our particular integral. Because we have to bear in mind that both the cos and sine function are the derivative of each other. So it means that we have to consider all the possibilities. It means that we have to consider the cos the sine function as well. Okay, that we differentiate. So differentiate cos is negative sine. 2a sine 2x. Then plus differentiate sine is cos 2b cos 2x. Okay, then differentiate again. So negative 2. Okay, differentiate sine is cos. So 2 times 2 is 4a cos 2x. Then differentiate cos is negative sine. So 2 times 2 is 4b sine 2x. Okay, then we substitute into this equation. So second order Okay, second order is negative 4a cos 2x minus 4b sine 2x then plus 5 times of the first order means that this equation times 5 So 5 times negative 2 is negative 10 a sine 2x then 5 times positive 2 is positive 10 b cos 2x then the particular integral times 6 so we have plus 6a cos 2x plus b sine 6b sine 2x. Then the whole equation equal to cos 2x. Okay, then we rearrange everything according to cos and sine. So first we look for cos 2x. So for cos 2x, okay, cos 2x, cos 2x, cos 2x. So we have negative 4a, then plus 10b, then plus 6a okay then we go to sine 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 so we have negative 4b then minus 10a then plus 6b sine 2x and this is equal to cos 2x okay then we come then we compare the coefficient of the both sides. So what we have to do here is compare cos with cos, sine with sine. So it means that negative 4a plus 10b plus 6a equal to 1. While negative 4b minus 10a plus 6b equal to 0. Since we don't have sine function on the, the right side. This indicates that 10 B plus 2A equal to 1. Okay, then we have negative 4B plus 2B. So positive 2B minus 
then a equal to zero. So this is equation one and equation number two. Okay, we can do elimination or we can do simultaneous equation or we can use the calculator. So using calculator, we go to equation. Then since we have two unknowns here, so means that we choose one. Okay, A is 2, then B is 10, C is 1. Okay, then the second equation we have, A is negative 10, then B is positive 2, then C is 0. So, A is equal to 1 over 52, means that A is 1 over 52, and B is 5 over 52. So, we have a equal to 1 over 52 and then B equal to 5 over 52. This means that our particular integral is equal to 1 over 52 cos 2x plus 5 over 52 sine 2x. We substitute A and B into this particular integral. So our general solution for this question is y equal to yc plus yc plus yp. So it means that a e negative 2x plus b e negative 3x then plus 1 over 52 cos 2x plus 5 over 52 52 sine 2x. Okay, that'll be done. Okay, that's all for today. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this. See you.